Of us, 7.5 billion people, 45% use social media, more followers than any religion. But if all this screen time seems a bit addictive, well, that's because it is. If you want to design an addictive drug, it would have all of the properties of social media. That's Phil Reed, Professor of Psychology at Swansea University. Professor Reed studies how internet use affects both human physiology and psychology. He's found these little devices are having a big impact on users like you and me. Is there a kind of real life comparison of what an Instagram session does to you that might happen in real life, so a surprise birthday party or a car crash, or is it...? I, I would think it's more finding yourself in the middle of the road and a double-decker bus is coming towards you. So, as a self-confessed phone addict... I'm here to find out the impact social media is having on my body and mind. If we look at my screen time, I spent three hours, 43 minutes on my phone already today, and it's only just gone lunchtime. Phil has agreed to recreate a study he led in 2017 which tested the physical effects social media had on 144 participants. He's monitoring my heart rate and the electric conductivity of my skin. And that's usually an index of stress or anxiety. While showing me a series of images... Some of these pictures are going to be of social media related things and some of them are not. And we're going to see how much you react. got the plants coming now and your oh that was a bit of a peak because I think we, we put one in of a social media and your heart rate jumped up from about 60 to 72 when that was on. The plants are keeping you nice and relaxed and your heart rate there is around 60. Professor Reed has found that for heavy internet users like me being deprived of their internet fix can bring on these physiological stress responses. So it's like a withdrawal response. When you go onto the machine, it goes down a little bit, and then when you pull them off again, it shoots up. And that's the same type of pattern as you'd get with a sedative drug. And what that's telling you is that those stimuli are actually making you feel stressed. But what's so bad about a little stress, right? So it's not just at the level of a heart rate or skin conductance. Below that is a surge of cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone, which is very useful for us. But if you get too much of it, it starts to have really negative effects. One of the first things it does is suppress your immune system. So people who are heavy internet users will find themselves being subject to more colds, more coughs, sneezes, warts, verrucas, anything that is subject to a poor immune function. We're at the start. Cigarettes weren't thought of as problematic until maybe a hundred years after they started to be used. We simply don't know the answers to these questions and clearly much more research needs to be directed.